Good early morning, you guys. It uh, We have had the best weekend. We've had a long weekend with family and they just left and I'm so sad, but um, I'm excited to spend the day with you today. So what I'm doing is we went to dinner um, and I'm cutting up a leftover steak that um, we had and I'm going to fry me an egg and I'm gonna have steak and eggs for breakfast. Um, so I just have one quick comment. Um, I'm gonna roll to a different footage. Can somebody please tell me how I can get this kind of energy first thing in the morning? That cat, she is lovey-dovey for about a half hour and then she is full on um, busy and having a blast every morning. So um, it's so funny. It's just, I'm like, man, cat, you don't even, doesn't take you very long to warm up. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this steak cut up just so it's easier to um, warm up and it doesn't get too done for me. And then I am going to make some eggs. So I'll meet you over on my range top. And here's breakfast at our house today. Fried eggs and using up a leftover steak from dinner. All right guys, today for lunch, I am having a crustless pizza bowl. This is um, a local pizza place, makes these. It's sauce, it's whatever kind of meat and veggie topping and cheese. I am doing sausage. Maraschino cherries three packages of lemons, two boxes of Evan Ready lasagna, green grapes, blueberries, two boxes of Texas toast, two bags of the Fritos barbecue, Hunt's tomato sauce, caramel apples, party size of the pretzel crisps. I have five packages of the eight ounce um, whole milk mozzarella, Colby Monterey Jack sticks, cottage cheese, kosher dill pickles and hot kosher pickles, flank steak, and a hamburger. To round out our grocery haul today, I have this large container um, from Betty Home, Better Homes and Gardens. It is the 18.6 cup with the um, clip down lid. And then I also got the 7.5 cup Better Homes and Garden um, clip down lid size as well. And they're both dishwasher safe. As a reminder, we're just doing a Monday through Friday meal plan. On Monday, we're going to try a new recipe, Korean barbecue. Tuesday, fajitas. Wednesday, breakfast for dinner. Thursday, a crock pot chicken. And Friday, sloppy joes. And that is our meal plan for this week. Hey guys, tonight for dinner, I have a crock pot recipe. So I have some chicken breast. The recipe calls for three to four chicken breast. I had a bunch of just random small Ziploc bags in my freezer of chicken tenders. So I went ahead and put those in here to use those up. And then the next thing that you're gonna do is you are going to add um, salsa. And I just I mean, bought the Kroger brand of salsa, a 16 ounce jar, because I know it's gonna get lots of flavoring. So um, I wasn't really worried about the brand or I didn't wanna use up my homemade salsa um, because this was actually on special as well. So we're gonna move, put that all over our chicken breast. Then I have a big bottle of the Tones taco seasoning and the taco packets are about three tablespoons full of taco seasoning. So going to um, put the taco seasoning in here as well. 
And then we need one brick of cream cheese. We're gonna put the lid on, turn this on low for four to six hours. If you use frozen chicken breast, you'll need to cook yours longer, but mine were thawed. We're gonna break up this chicken as we go. What we're gonna do is I am gonna take these big um, burrito flour wrappers and I am gonna add some of our creamy chicken taco mixture to one of these and I'm gonna put them in my air fryer and get them crisped, crisped up on the outside. I'm just gonna use up some cheddar cheese that has been open in my fridge for a little while um, so I can get that. Um, we're gonna add some of our chicken mixture. I'm gonna get this into my air fryer. My air fryer is heating up. And here is dinner tonight at our house. Creamy chicken taco in a burrito wrapper and some of our homemade salsa.